most importantly, the Constitution does not presume that the federal government has any powers. It gives them 18 powers and everything else is reserved to the states or to the people. So in that regard, the Constitution is quite libertarian. What are those powers? Power over interstate commerce, which is the power to create a free trade zone, the power to create post roads, the power to create a military and a navy, things like that, things that most libertarians don't have a huge problem with. The problem came in when we started thinking about the power residing in the federal government as being bigger than that and therefore we needed to carve out liberties. The way that the framers thought about it was that you had to give power and reserve liberty. You could try and create liberty in two different ways, try and protect liberty. One is you could presume power and then say here are the liberties you have, or you could presume liberty and say here are the powers you have. The Constitution takes the second, and because of that it has only 18 powers and most of them are pretty limited. It doesn't include health care, it doesn't include education. It doesn't mean it doesn't think that those things should be done. If those things were to be done, that would be done in the states. It tries to create a sea of liberty and establish little islands of power. What we've created now though is a sea of power and we've had little islands of liberty, and that certainly is not libertarian. Originally, the Constitution was much more libertarian.